Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the stream here, the secondary stream for DreamHack Winter 2014 Counter-Strike Global Offensive with me, DDK, and Avela here on Face TV. We do have I by Power up against Penta next. Penta already displaying a pretty awesome result against Copenhagen Walls on Dust 2. Can it be repeated here on Inferno? That is the question. Ooh, Inferno. This is going to be interesting to watch. I by Power winning the knife round, starting off on the CT side, the strongest side of Inferno Penta spots. Again, with the uphill struggle. Two armors only on the T side, with uh, four flashes instead, and two smokes. And they will go for the AX execute. No apps push coming in from the terrorists. Here. Oh, this is going to go straight through the CT stone. No, they can't see it, but the setup is oh, too there's good. A, there's a sick crossfire setup here. AZK is jumping up and down like Mario. He'll be shot down finally after getting three frags off. Uh, the damage being done by AZK, Spitty, and Robson. The only remaining players have a lot of HP. Oh, what a shot there by Robson on swag. Spitty's got the CZ. <laughs> 3 HP, 11 HP. Good luck, guys. 3 plus 11 is 14. <laughs> <laughs> one bullet per player, maybe one bullet for both of them would be enough. And they're still going towards the A site. And in fact, there's only one CT at Pit. Desi is coming up from behind. He changes his mind. Skadoodle. Checking Arch, they don't have a lot of information, the CTs. And they don't have any, f well, they've got one flash on Robson, so he has to really use this. Re he, ha he has to basically throw it, if he threw it on pit, to allow Speedy to push, that would be the p perfect usage of it. And he's going to, oh, easy kill there, let's do the bombs down. Should be the first round for Ryan. Just needed one more bullet on Skadoodle. Oh, he gets the frag. Free HP, free kills. Half Ten three seconds confirmed. left on the clock. <laughs> He's going to get the bomb plant. Speedy gets the bomb plant with 3 HP. Uh, that's not bad. Not quite. There it is. So he won't get the round. Diffusing. Power yeah. will get the round. Very scary stuff. That they did get the bomb down, so it's a big result. That's, that was from, the struggle. From that, from that situation, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> they had 14 health together. Put together. Look at the pick and predictions. 93% on iBuy Power. Yep. Nobody, nobody believes in Penta. Nobody's putting their stickers on Penta. No stickers on Penta. I think that they deserve more. I've actually seen like these players, not necessarily, not necessarily all together, because mm. these these German lineups mix up a lot. But these players, Crystal Felix, uh, Spitty, uh, Dennis, they play loads together. I've seen them. I've yeah. seen some sick executes on sites from them, like really like well rehearsed stuff in previous teams that they've played in, like Berserk yeah. Team Berserk, for example. Mm -hmm. So this is a team that I think is very scary on Inferno. Previous I by Power, Dazed and Steel, very scary on Inferno as well. But this is not the, the, the I by Power with Steel and Dazed anymore. We don't know what they're capable of. So far, they've been in uh, pretty good hands with AZK as a uh, in with the I by Power. There's not much to complain about so far. And Nitro and Deathly, especially in their match against Copenhagen Wolves, they did really well. But a great fake here. Will they be able to make the frag on the only CT in Banani? Does the right bright idea of pulling back and keeping that long range advantage Desi very smart by him won't give away a free M4 to that Zerg rush and uh, there is one CT rotating in support it's too slow that fake too slow they won't be able to capitalize on it Laying down smoke. and then still stuck in the middle and now with only one smoke on crystal probably a CT smoke if they want to push to banana or an arch smoke if they push towards the A site they've got one man over on apartments here who can probably help in and support Throw in the smoke. He throws a CT smoke, and oh my god, that forces one of the CTs to pull back. But he pulled just if they had waited one more second for the arch push on AZK, they might have allowed AZK to actually go for the rotation, and he might have gone towards the B site. But either way, really picks up his own thoughts, won't be able to get a frag on swag. I'm about to make it 2 to 0. But that, that CT smoke was pretty smart by uh, Penta. It was actually pretty smart yeah. indeed. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of. Uh opportunities for Penta in that round. They just weren't able to really like make it work. They were a little bit too slow on the... There was a window where they could have hit B really hard straight away, but they were a little bit too slow. And the guy leading was like the, the guy with the Glock trying to take the picks. So yeah. like, yeah, it's a little bit awkward. And then his teammates weren't like, close enough. Then they just had a 3-2 setup again. So they kind of wasted that initial fake. Then they kind of like got the situation back to it again. But Ooh. hold that four. We get a sick long range shot from Speedy. That's a great, great pick. Phoenix finds a pick onto Banana. And Iber Power are left with three men who uh, are certainly in a very tough spot to deal with. 
Yeah, Penta spots have to make sure they don't lose any more men pushing into the site, or any men pushing into the sites, as they do have the two-man advantage. And all they have to do is just make sure they make the trades. If they, if one CT gets a frag, they take down that CT, and they'll be fine because they've already got the two-man advantage. So play for the trades, play it easy, and you should easy pickings of the remaining I buy 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 power players in there. This early, this buy because of the bomb plant. Uh, the first buy for Penta Sport is the real test for the defensive I buy power. And uh, they've not been able to hold that defense, the Americans. A slash Canadian player. <laughs> As Penta Sports will get the bomb plant almost flawlessly. The American slash Canadian. <laughs> have to, you, um, have to, you have to be accurate with these things. True, you know, true. Politically, it's, it's a very sensitive subject. All right, I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> it's the thing that I'm worried about is if... I mean, Iber Power, they, we really need to see, well, they really need to see the money go their way, obviously. And I, I'm worrying that that's never going to kind of happen at this point. If Penta are able to just cripple their economy now, um, it's going to start getting really scary. And uh, do they even want to play the AWP? I mean, I should think that they would. Skadoodle has been a monster with the AWP on this map in the, in the past. Skadoodle has made so much stuff happen for them defensively. They really yeah. need to be able to afford the AWP. They need to be af able to afford grenades. If the CT side cannot get the grenades they need to co like constantly re smoke positions and, and, and counter flash when uh, you know, positions are being attacked by, by the T's, there's a huge disadvantage and suddenly uh, the T's become so favored in so many situations. So I'm afraid for overpower, but and we are going to see them force it up. Double need down towards mid, just in case they go for that peak to CDs, but nobody's there to receive the damage. Two CZ, one on Nitro and the other on Skadoodle. Nitro's holding Arch Angle. Oh, in oh. the head! <laughs> Bounced off his helmet. Face. Right in the face. It actually didn't do a lot of damage. Barry, it should have exploded right in his face, but it kind of like knocked off his face and exploded in front of him. And he survived that encounter. Fire. Story to tell the grandchildren. When I was young, I was playing Arch side on the <laughs> <laughs> And a bomb landed on my face, but I didn't die. So Penta trying to edge their way up now. And they certainly have the advantage. There's not a lot of uh, ability to counter. A kind of grenade from my by power, so they got to really Flashbang. hold tight to those Flashbang. grenades and try to keep them for the eventual site push. And Penta burning those uh, resources away from my by power by yep. taking these positions. Good doodle, how does he get that kill? He, they Dennis. smoke him off now, but it's a bit, of, it's a little bit too late. I think Dennis, uh, uh, there's a bit of a miscommunication. Dennis expected his teammates. Oh, beautiful by Desi. Beautiful two frags, and that's Penta completely shut down. I was just about to say that uh, Dennis was expecting that smoke to, to pop, so he didn't even check that angle. And he saw Skadoodle. He actually saw him. So that, that kind of push towards the B site. They're going for that arch to B. Completely shut down by Skadoodle and Desi. Completely and utterly. Never do it again. Never try it. Don't think about it. Felix wants to go back, trying to save that AK-47. Eight seconds left on so the clock. You could probably do it. Are they adding, like, in each update, are they adding, like, a chicken? Because I swear the chickens are multiplying on this map. I have no idea. I, I saw I really, I wouldn't. The other day, I saw five chickens down middle, just walking down middle, and I'm like, this is, I've never seen this before. Like, what, something is, something's going on behind the scenes at Valve. Do, do you know what you just they're reminded not, they're me They're not of? nursing the CZs, they're throwing in more chickens. Maybe that, maybe that somehow nursed the CZ. But you know what you just reminded <laughs> me of? You reminded me of the, um, <laughs> that Game of Thrones uh, scene with the mountain and the chickens. One chicken. Yeah, you can't remember. I don't it? remember the scene. No, you can't remember the chicken scene. No, unbelievable. That's the worst thing when someone unbelievable. doesn't get your reference. I don't it, speak just kills, it just kills the conversation. Don't don't, don't, don't speak to me, DDK. All right. That's it. That no more. I'm not casting. I'm, make casting I'm leaving. Pretty hard. I'm leaving. All right, guys. We've got Felix looking into the smoke on uh, banana. I, I don't think he's really gone. I'll let you go back to the play. I'm back. I'm back. I've decided. Uh, that, you know, I'll forgive. I'll forgive DDK. Flashbang. I'm so humbled. <laughs> Smoke. Penta Sport. You can see that they're not so confident on the T side. They're actually afraid of I buy power. They're not confident to push in towards art side or towards truck side or to go towards banana. They're always waiting, like waiting for somebody to lead the charge. It and does. I think it's it's not a thing of like oh we're waiting for them to use up their flashes of smokes. I don't Deploying think it's like flash. that. I think it's just fire. they're not they're not doing oh nice model from my CD. Really well, a great counter cr counter needs from I buy power. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I just feel like yeah, it's, it's just you know a bit of they don't have that confidence. They're afraid. Easy K. There's a reason why they're afraid. Easy K and Nitro are making short work. Throwing flashbang. 
of the terrorists on mid. It's an absolute massacre. It's like an abattoir in the middle of the map. Felix will get a frag on AZK. It's going to get pushed by two at the same time, which is a good shot by them. It's it's basically just standard inferno what we just saw. Of course they, I mean, of course they have to wait for the smokes to go away. Then in come their smokes to try to go for the take. Yep. However, uh, that was just a simple. Just I mean, sometimes it's just going to work out that the, that the players on the CT side they are able to circumvent the grenades coming in from the T's. Uh, they don't get quite flashed as efficiently or or whatever it may be, but they hit the shots and then boom, the rounds over. After a, lo a lot of uh, it, it feels almost anticlimactic, but that can be inferno sometimes. And Skadoodle now confident with the AWP. Yes, Ooh, the leg shot. Now Skadoodle with the AWP, this changes the dynam dynamic quite a lot. They have to be really careful of that mid peak now. And you'll probably see them smoke mid this time or throw a double nade down mid. But it really kind of makes their movement suffer now when they know there's a very good offer. <laughs> right wow, there. smoke. On Skiddy. Robson's picking up the AK that does it. And Crystal will get shot down by that Nitro. Invisible AK-47. So I want to buy this skin. Where can you get this skin from? <laughs> so Skadoodle with the uh, the AWP, we're going to see how he plays this. I'm wondering if he's going to start uh, going a little bit, little bit like JW or Kenny S esque with it, and uh, to take some risks on middle. To if he, even if he, get, if he gets smoked off, just you know appear in apartments, appear yeah. on banana. See can how do. dynamic he is because he we've seen do. that from him in the past. Wait, Skadoodle sure is a player on. that he's okay, he's going to play with his spawn timing, and he's a player that thrives in the chaos. That's when he does best. He's a player that gets bored easily. So. We need to see this from him. This is what keeps him on edge, and that's what he needs to perform. Here it comes. Oh, double Molotov, aggressive beat push here from the CT, which should completely demolish them. Skadoodle is going to miss his shots, however. He'll be shot down by Felix, so it's not as good as it could have been. But Now, the CTs really should try to clear Banana as quickly as possible. They do have two players there. In fact, Swag's going to smoke smart, it, so, very smart. so they shouldn't, in theory, expect the player at Sandbags. Yeah, exactly. They need to eliminate something. They need to find something out, but it's like AZK is going to get a free one, and that's a, that's a really big deal. Now they don't have to worry so much. They can kind of stay on B, stay on A, and it's fine. Uh, there's a very aggressive B push from the uh, guy who's behind Sandbags. Terrorists win. get a quick double Line him up, line him up. Line them up and shoot them down. It's always one of the... Uh, the it, you have to recognize these situations very quickly as a team when... when uh, the, one of the, the dynamics on, in uh, Counter-Strike is that you have um, situations, obviously, of advantage and disadvantage. So you've got to realize when you're at a disadvantage and when you need to take a risk. And there, the risk would be to try to push them on and get the info when it's like four on four. Because you need to know where to rotate yep. quickly to give yourselves a good chance to win the round. And uh, obviously, it, it wasn't needed as AZK got like a free one on one. So... It turned out fine, but uh, you got to be careful of these situations and not miss the windows. Oh, that's a bit of a flop smoke from the CTs there. Nice entry frag by Dennis. But you have to play it smart, the Pentaspots players. Go for the banana control. If you don't get the banana control, give it away. It doesn't matter. It's not so important as long as you don't lose the players. You can just wait for that smoke to dissipate and perhaps get the CT after the smoke dissipates. But this is a really good start here. They're completely zerging it over towards truck side, and they will probably get control of the A-site here and get the bomb planted. Now it's a 4 and 2 Skadoodle coming in. Desi, oh, nicely done. He drops the bomb, and now he's in the site. He can probably hold them off just for a while longer to get support from Skadoodle. And now they have to try and re retake the site here. Dennis finally takes down Desi, and Skadoodle on the other side of the map. Uh, sorry, other side of the bomb site, at Arc site. Wow. With the, he's, he's looking right... Right at the position he's what in. A, what a sick round! They, they they didn't even like have armor most of them. No, no, they just that's went ridiculous. They just bought AKs and just went in. That's just I don't think I've seen that before. Like in, at least in recent in recent months, I haven't seen a team just like buy AKs, no armor, and just go in like that. That's that's crazy. Uh, actually, they they they, they, they they picked them as spoils of war from the uh, from the CTs. It was just a CZ push. Dennis just ran in. He's like. Said his prayers, went straight. Guess I'm blanking out already. <laughs> Been an action packed. Day. You need that burrito, mate. I need, I need, a, <laughs> I need the burrito of, of life. Burrito of life. life. But beautiful stuff there from Penta to do so much damage with so limited resources. Mm. Moving in with the CZs. Obviously, this is going to really shock the economy of I by Power. And they still have the uh, the opportunity to buy now, but it's starting to get more and more grim for them. Penta, they yeah, have exactly. to keep this going though. They, they need to turn it around now. Uh, if they want to have a strong chance to get back into the match. And uh, so far, the slower rounds haven't been working out very well for them. So, interesting that they're able to get the second round off of a very fast play. 
the secret for Pentaspot right now to winning more rounds is Dennis getting those entry frags. If Dennis can get those entry frags, because his aim is absolutely godlike, if he can get those entry frags, then they'll probably have a chance of winning more rounds on the T side of Inferno. But if he doesn't, then it's not going to work out. Felix ready for that push by Desi. And a push without a flash or a smoke, not they, the best of ideas they either. Did, they did do a deep smoke on Banana. They probably didn't expect somebody to push through it. Yeah. And... Uh, be on that angle. So there's a massive risk from Felix actually, because they kind of should have had a bit, they should have had more control there on Banana, but they didn't. And that's going to cost them. One for one, going to definitely favor Pentasports in this position, where we're going to see now the flashes come in to take support and see if they can work middle control. They don't have to commit to the A play. But there's the pick, and why wouldn't they now? Two players down. Skadoodle. Oh, oh Skadoodle! Great shot there. And what a beautiful shot by Skadoodle. Goodness me. That's going to win the round for them. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right there. Swag and Skadoodle on their own. Two frags for Skadoodle, three for Swag. That is swag. That is that is. If you wanna, oh if you God. wanna call something swag, that's swag. You don't see that a lot. Pushing in from truck side. You've got five mans. You've gotten the entry frag. This is where it gets ugly though, because look, they're forcing up. They don't really have the ability to get the AK on Robson. They just and, and there's no nays on Dennis, so it's it's not an ideal situation for them. But tech nine on Robson. They needed that round so badly because if I win this which they are favored to do, yep. then it's, it's already 8-2, but then the eco comes in, it's like 9-2, and yeah, it, exactly. it gets out of control. It does, it does, it does. What a shot by Skidoo. It, it, I'm it's just smiling like a little child right now. It, it, it. Lady Luck yeah, lady, was there, yeah, it was but he, lady he hit the shot. He hit the shot. I don't think they really expected that to happen. It's a bit unfair. So typically they've been playing quite aggressively on Banana. They're actually yeah. giving up Banana here as a bit of a mix-up. Um, they probably are aware that either it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a save or a bit of a pistol buy, or you know generally they shouldn't be in a position where they're taking aggressive risks. Yeah, exactly. So that's what they're going for at the moment. Smoke on the CTs. Quite interesting. No, truck side. It stops them from pushing towards truck side. And for once in this game, it is actually a B exit coming in from Penta Spot. CT smoke goes down, flash, push through. But there is a counter smoke by the CT. They're completely flashed. Flag is still there, however. He'll get two frags as they try to push through the smoke. It's not the best idea. Pre fire. Oh, takes down Spitty. Oh, and he gets the other kill on Robson. That's Lovely. just ridiculous by Swag. Swag and Skadoodle, they're playing the way that we expect them to. They're really, they're, they're basically uh, finally fulfilling the role as the carries. And Skadoodle, he's only on six kills after that, even after that double kill in the yeah. round before where he got the double kill. This is one of the risks as well of pushing through the smoke. But obviously, like, pushing through the smoke is supposed to carry a degree of surprise. But, yep. ha but, that, but like, at the same time, the CTs can actually play angles like that. And it's, we've seen it happen in multiple games. Mm -hmm. And it's very obviously very powerful because they do try to push through the smoke. Boom. That impatience is going to give you a huge spray down. Exactly. Now, Penta Spots are on an eco. We've got two CZs, the uh, infamous CZs, one on Spitty and one on Felix. And on Nico before, they were able to push into the A site. It could work out for them once more. AZK will get a double frag. Skadoodle from Library will take down Dennis. Nitro. Oh, great. Yeah, shot. He, was, he, was, uh, he was tagged as well to 4 HP. And he still made that shot. So upper power in the in the driving seat now for sure. The the buy comes in from uh, Penta. They're in a position now where they can just they have to just keep constantly buying. They'll never have a, like a crazy amount of grenades yep. if they want to be you know running with the AKs. But um, it's <laughs> upper power are basically potentially around the way from having an incredibly just like dominant um, hard first half show. I mean, 9-6 could obviously be great, but how it's likely is that at this point from the position Panther are playing? It doesn't it's seem like that. There's something quite interesting here by by Power. They do have a player in an advanced position at Apps. You know, to be really careful here. If he dies, gives away Apps, gives away that information. It would be a great start for Penta. But either way, he does back away. He went for that aggressive push, tried to get the pick. Didn't get it. And Again, uh, they don't back. have to commit. If they if they get a kill here, they don't yeah. have to commit on it. They don't. They can always keep the option open. It depends on the keep time as well. Exactly. They have a minute left to play with. So it starts to get to the point where and if, if there's 40 seconds left and you get a pick, they're kind of committed. And already, I guess they're going for the push. Frag comes up. Oh, they only get one frag for being shot down by Robson. Nitro completely smoked off here by the terrorist. He tries to push up on top of the graveyard to try and get a frag. Dennis pushes through. Completely flashed by the CTs. It's absolute mayhem here. And there is Crystal coming up from outside. Can he get the frag on Skadoodle? Skadoodle misses his op shot, but he still has a bit of health left. And again, for the second time in this map, oh, Crystal. 
in a headshot on Nitro. Great job by Dennis to take that through before he does more. But ACK nice returns double. the favor with a double kill. Now it's Desi in a two on one situation. The bomb being planted in towards the site. One man behind the truck. He gets the kill. He makes it on one on one. This is a great start here for Desi. He can oh, get the oh, Beautiful sick. by Desi. Gets the clutch. The 2v1 clutch is real. I buy power Amazing. stealing around from Penta. And the few rounds that Penta could have gotten. This was one of them. Man, they had to go up on, on the balcony, got two quick frags, and that just enabled Desi to get that one on one as the bomb was going down. Then another one on one, it's just crucial clutch there and gives them a really sick result. Wow, I can't believe it. Iber Power is just blasting through Penta. There's been so many close rounds. But generally speaking, Iber Power's CT has, has definitely been, been better. Even in that round, just before the push, uh, push was coming in, they were actually pushing Banana as well at the yep. same time. So th they already eliminated what's going on and they had a quick response in Desi. So very well played. Iber Power, just amazing stuff. And AZK's double kill was very, very important. Right? So if he hadn't been able to do yeah. that, Desi would be in a 4v1 situation. Which yeah. It's very, very hard to manage. Aggressive push here at Banana. They don't throw the deep smoke. They've thrown two Molotovs, or one Molotov, and the deep smoke finally comes up. Go for the peak. They get the kill, but Swag barely survives that encounter with seven health. This is so cool because Swag can actually just leave Desi there now. And he and Desi can, uh, with that, that forward smoke, Desi, sh yeah, he still has a smoke as well. So he can re-smoke this, keep the position alive, and do it by himself. And Penta, with no banana control, they're forced to work A. So they're playing into Y by Power's plans, their hands. Uh, they know exactly what's going on. Spitty now the last man standing. He's going to go down as well. And... Uh, they were again. It's it's that kind of like sheep herding men, like mentality where like they shut down banana. What are they left with in that situation after losing a man? They can't they can't really risk like losing another guy for an information play or to push through smoke. So it doesn't help when Swag is playing the way he's playing right now. He's on 18 frags at 4k just the round before. Three deaths only. That's a 6k DR. Destruction from this young talent. Absolute destruction. 11 to two with only two rounds left in this half. Penta forced onto an eco, going with the Tech 9. It's the Zerg Rush, it's real, he's completely flashed, firing all over the place. No bullets are gonna land. He goes down, double nade down to Banana, should do a lot of damage actually, taking down Spiddy. Crystal now on only 6 HP. A bit of friendly fire. Swag getting a bit too trigger happy with the CZ. Desi hiding behind the, uh, the truck. And maybe he can get the bomb plant here, Crystal. Yeah, he's gonna get it, but. I mean, I mean, with getting the bomb plant, they're going to have, what, 3,500, it's 800, so they're going to have, like, uh, 4,300, so they'll get the buy and they'll have more nades than usual, but at the same time, it doesn't really change much, at the, because it's, it's not really been the money that's been losing them their rounds in a lot of the cases. Like, they've had a lot of gun rounds at, thus yep. far, and we, we've not really seen them find a solution for Ibo Power setups. And Ibo no, Power have been no. mixing it up a lot. They've been keeping uh, Penta guessing. They've been playing aggressive on Banana. They've been playing defensive on Banana. They've been reading their money and reacting very well. Now, Orp for Crystal. And uh, Orp can be awkward on the T side. Let's see how he's going to be more. He hasn't had a lot of chances to play with the Orp uh, in today's match against Ibo Power. Doodle's just uh, playing defensive here with his AWP. They're just all you know, chilling there by the on defensive uh, uh, position all the way back. So I like this from Iber Power. Just, just keep them guessing. Punish them if they tried to go for that banana early rush. Because the banana, the fast banana push is pretty dangerous if you only have two CTs. Because there's, on, uh, there's only always a maximum of two CTs at the B site. So if they go for the fast banana push and they can get the first frag, they know there's only one left. But what you do is... You punish them before they're able to push towards the B site and so they won't go for that fast push and then you're just going to keep them guessing from then on. 12 to 2. Uh, if they win this round, I buy power. They'll have 13 rounds coming into the second half. So You've got to love the angle there. Okay, where you get to see the balcony and get to see quad. It's a very, very nice angle. And, uh, they're going to... Oh, that, that Molotov's going to stagger the push as they try to go through balcony. And now, but the guys from the can't go in as well. But the Molotov's down as well. And the fire's going to burn ATK to death. I don't even know how that happened. There's fire everywhere as they move on to the bomb site. So far, a good defense coming in from Iber Power as usual. They do not falter. And look at this schedule on the box at the back of the site with the AWP in his hand. Good stuff. He's going to go down and just Felix as well. So Iber Power, 13 to 2. What is this? We're seeing Iber Power with I don't know. I don't a very know. strong result. Pen uh, there's, there's nothing that they could do. They really. It was just too difficult. It was a solid defense and swag. Getting the 22 frags in the first half of this match. That's a lot of frags. A lot of frags indeed. 
It seems like iBuyPower are probably going to be going through. And uh, my predictions, I thought I was smart, and I made my prediction that Cloud9, uh, sorry, that Copenhagen Wolves would go through instead of iBuyPower. Yeah. It was completely off. They lost uh, against Penta, and Penta are getting completely demolished by iBuyPower now or Inferno. But uh, if Penta win the Pista round and they can play a really solid CT side, maybe they can come back. <laughs> but <laughs> because maybe, <laughs> maybe, but against this, this he's not convinced power. at all. This, this, uh, no, it's not. You convinced. don't believe. Where's the belief? Where's the faith? I have faith. He in doesn't. Swag. He doesn't have faith. I have faith. In oh, he has faith, faith in swag. Faith in swag, and uh, right. I also have faith in I by power. I was talking about the other type of swag. Ah, okay, <laughs> right, okay. You don't like my jokes, do you, DDK? I'm not a fan. All right, I'm not a fan. It's not working I'll, I'll yet. Call, I'll call James. I'll go it's get some. It's not working. I'll get some. Uh, James. James doesn't comedy. have jokes. He just has like madness. He just, inter just He crazy. just like, inserts madness, and it's just it's just, he's just weird. He's a madman. And hilarious. That's, that's James. He's a nutter. James is a nutter. I think that's why you, everybody. You loves know him. that James has purchased a horse head. Um, ruined it. Ruined the surprise. If there's going to be a surprise. It's pretty surprising. It's pretty shocking. Well, it's a secret. Don't don't tell anyone. So other people can be surprised. <laughs> all, all the many thousands of people. <laughs> yeah, the guys. That was the worst time. Hey, 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 like how many, like... 40k of you. Keep yeah. it a secret. Don't tell anyone. And pretend <laughs> you're surprised. You when me. James comes and does it, just pretend you're surprised. Be like, haha, so funny. Do it for James. Do it for James. Do it for James. Do it for James. So we should be jumping into the second half. But it, 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 it can't help but feel like an anticlimactic affair. Very having, anticlimactic. Uh, having, having been such a strong performance on the CT half. Uh, y you know, there's lots of questions going in for I by Power. Losing days, losing steel, losing what many would consider was great leadership and, and just a great resource of Counter-Strike knowledge. Those mm. two players, their pro-level knowledge is incredible. Yep. And uh, perhaps two of the, the most knowledgeable players in North America. You could, one could even go so far as to say those guys have done their studying. But we'll have to see if uh, Penta can bring stuff back on the CT side. It all starts with this pistol. Very fast B push here coming up. Only one CT. Ready for them. The other is that. Uh, <laughs> the other is that Speedway. Nitro. We'll make the frag on Dennis. Speedy's ready with the smoke. They have to rotate somebody now. I mean, they're being a little bit slow here. They're, they're still holding the rotation. They need somebody to come over here now. Obviously, we can see the pushes coming in, but this is a big gamble here for Penta. Oh, he flops the smoke. He actually flops the smoke. He hits the pillar instead. And he's now forced to try and peek at them from the side of that smoke. Oh, nicely done by Spitty. He gets two frags at least. And now the rotation's coming in from his teammates. <laughs> if you guys hear the music, I hope you're enjoying that background sound, those background sounds. AZK, ready at CT. Gets only one frag for being shot down by Robson. And now it's a two-on-two. Two. Robson with only 13 HP. Has the armor. There's the diffuse kit on Crystal. They can play with time. It's not too bad. He knows exactly where he is. Gets him right next to the fountain. Nine HP on Skadoodle. Penta spots. <laughs> Penta spots are in a position to get the pistol round, and they have to get the pistol round. Oh, nicely done by Robson. Diffuse will go to their advantage, and there is hope left for the Germans. Happy Krishna. Um, <laughs> is it happy or is it Harry? I don't, I'm not sure. I it's not happy it Krishna, up. is it? I don't know. I don't know these things. You're culturally insensitive, so I you're supposed to know. I have no knowledge. <laughs> Very, very merry, it changed, merry old band. You know, so you know, it changed the atmosphere of that round. It is made it a bit more kind of carnival-like. It is much happier. Yeah, uh, it's a happier round. It, it, it Either way, uh, it's it's the CZs coming out to play for Iowa Power, and you know it's all up for grabs when the CZs come into uh, into the mix. And there's one flash on Skidule. I would expect the pop flash into mid. That's that's usually where you'd find this. Yes. So let's see if that uh, is the case. In fact, there it goes. No fear from Swag. Pop flash into Ooh, mid. Oh, Crystal's right behind him. He's right behind him. We'll make a quick double kill. Very nice spray down by Crystal to get two headshots. Felix there in support will drop the bomb. A pretty solid CT side play by Penta. I love that move, hiding in the smoke. I mean, it's like one of those things, like the oldest trick in the book, and it's a big risk, because if, 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 you know, you get caught, I mean, that's, that's huge. It's and like you have no idea what's going on either. Yeah, it's not the safe play where you you should still be fine, but it's like the big risk where you're you're going to get the element of surprise and then maybe kill the entire team dead. Like, it's... It, 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 we saw how strong that was. So I'd love to see that. It's very ballsy. 
and uh, Penta are going to keep themselves alive with no losses, so the money's going to start to roll in, and that's going to make them feel good. But I think it should be hard to feel all that good, considering that they are 11, oh sorry, yeah, nine rounds behind right now. Your mathematics it needs improving, sir. 13 minus 4 I corrected is nine. myself. You were fast, yeah, you were fast. Oh, I'll give that to you. Oh, nice start there by Crystal to make the frag on Swag, and it's pretty dangerous to do that, because usually the terrorists are there before you. They've got their gun aimed in that window, and yep. they're able to make that frag. And actually, Crystal was hurt before he made the shot, so had Swag been able to get the headshot immediately, it, he would have been uh, the one alive after that encounter. Either way, they do have the man advantage now. The, uh, the Germans, full by from uh, I by power. This is the real test of their defenses. Will Penta Eastbourne, or Penta Spot, sorry, be able to defend Flash against by. the uh, it's fine onslaught? For them. It, the, the only problem is that they don't have grenades. That's the only issue. They've got a smoke and two flashes, which really suggests, I mean, their best chance is on B because that smoke on CT spawn obviously really gives a lot of uh, opportunity to take the site and to plant down safely. They need more nades to do A, so this is, this is a must right now. Nice, two CTs, one behind Spindle and the other in sight, and they're going to go through. Spindle will make the fight, then if get the other, they're going to go right through the smoke, which actually came in as a counter. Molotov will do a bit of damage on Nitro, but he'll get two frags going into the site, as now Robson, Crystal and Felix have to play for the retake. The bomb's been planted for eye power that's good. They do have money to play with. They only need three more rounds, and they can take it easy. They don't have to win this round, but Penta Sports do. Have to make the free take. Good crossfire set up by the T's. Heaton and Potty. Can it stand the test of time? Even today, it's still very strong. Oh, oh Nitro with a third frag for this round, but won't make it the fourth. He had to have. He literally had to get an ace to win that round. Yeah, he'd have to have it. 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 Have to get an ace. Is that even correct English? I don't know. It, you'd have to get an ace to win that round. How did you say it so well? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> you'd have to get a... You'd have been to talking get English for a while now. You'd have to... Sometimes it goes wrong. Often goes wrong when you're casting. It does, it does. You forget English. Yeah. Yeah, you learn, you learn a language called gibberish. It's a really good language. And we're going to see a fast pressure up the banana area from... Oh, oh, power, double nade. The double nade is real. Damn. Limbs everywhere as both Desi and AZK are victims of that. Tactic. Then has to be really careful. He gets shot down by Skadoodle. I don't know why he was peeking through the smoke map. You've already you've gotten two frags. You have the advantage. They're on an eco. Stay back. Let them go into the site. Yeah. Lots of time to play with. I mean, it, a whole minute. But the problem is uh, one flash. Again, Inferno is a map that requires grenades to get into position. Oh, so there's a terrorist going through Arch here. Yeah. Crystal will be ready for him, though. And there is the flash used by Swag. Going to go into the corner, and there's Crystal with the spray. And that's an easy pick there for him. Easy pick up, easy frags, easy life. Easy skins. And Penta. Oh, Spitty. You have to land those shots, Spitty. Hope is rekindled for Penta Sports as they make it 13 to 6. The economy of I buy power is good, however, and actually good enough for Skadoodle to buy an AWP yeah. and armor as well. They get a lot more out of, like, as opposed to being the CTs in this position, I buy power can constantly losing rounds. Obviously, they can do a lot more with less money yep. uh, because they can always dictate the situations in which uh, they can, you know, they can always uh, choose the right weapons for the right job, essentially, yes. whereas the CTs have to react all the time. So, uh, Iberpower definitely uh, able to call, call the shots and, and really... Oh, Penta actually going to start off with three on B to begin with here. But no aggressive push down Banana, which is quite interesting. And Instead, you only have Crystals peaking with the odd. That's a really difficult shot to make. Unless they stop like that, just the way Nitro did, then if they just move across, it's very difficult. You have to be super fast. Yep. like inhuman reflexes. I can see how he rotates. This is very, very common to do a play like this. We have three on B, and it's usually going to be the AWPer, so he can make a quick shot, use, a, the, use the timing of his spawn, and then like rotate back around. It's, it's a risk, but it uh, definitely Smoke. can pay off, as now they're, they're looking pretty good in the setup. You don't see a lot of fast A pushes anyway, so you can do that. I mean, if, if people go for a fast push on, on Inferno, it's usually towards the B side. The fast A push it doesn't really happen so much. Now, I'll buy power one man down because of Crystal Shot on Nitro. They've and restored uh, Banana Control, though, so that's actually really good to know. They'll still be playing for A-Site, though. But they've, they've blocked the information 
from the CTs. The CTs don't know what's going on in Banana right now. They've got two CTs deep in the site. They've got to be thinking about going for uh, going for the play now. There's so little time left, and in they go, in the grenades go. And Penta's life much more difficult, but that jump up onto Graveyard. Look at this position. Uh, easy shots here for Felix. It's going to be a very tough uh, situation now for Desi to pull back into the hands of I by Power. Let's pick up the bomb and might just be able to scrap together a plant, but it's all oh, look, looking good, is it? Could have been enough time. You won't be able to save the gun either. 13 to 7. Penta Sports win that round. They're only six rounds away from I by Power at the moment. They're getting closer and closer. They're actually playing pretty solid on the CT side because I by Power haven't won a round yet. Definitely is. Uh, looking very interesting now as I by Power. They don't have, again, many grenades to work with. Yeah, so they've got two smokes. Well, three smokes. Actually, okay, they've got four smokes. I can't count how many smokes they have. And they need four flashes. So they've got to get up uh, quickly onto the angles that they, they choose to, uh, to go for. You don't want to get caught in a situation where you kind of win positions slowly, then you don't really have any nades to actually get like the the site or even to hold the site with. And uh, oh, let's go. They have to throw the smoke pace. down. They see the peak. Why aren't they throwing oh, the smoke that's, down? Oh, that is so ballsy. They can delay it. It's just the last possible second. It's always going to be better. That's it's a really good trade good. there for Ride by Power. Desi taking down Crystal and dropping the op. And if you saw just Robson, they're firing the op, so they're not able to pick it up as well. So I'm getting ready to throw down the CT smoke, perhaps. If he decides not to. Right now, there's only one CT waiting for them in the B site. That's Pretty Dennis, but out. if there's any player I want holding the B site, it smoke. would be Dennis. Smoke. Throws down that smoke finally, so that's it's 17 injury. seconds. So until about 30 seconds left, he should be able to keep control of the B site unless they decide to push through the smokes. Playing Three men towards smoke. the A site here. Pen uh, putting their money on the A site, putting their players on towards the A site. The smoke dissipates, Molotov comes back, comes on. Sorry, not bad. Two Molotovs, actually, by the CTs. And now the terrorists are pushing into the site. They've already lost quite a lot of HP because of the Molotovs. Robson's there at Spindle to get first rank, gets the second headshot on Nitro, and Swag's on his own right now. Whether it's Spitty's AK-47 or that Molotov, something was going to kill him. And Pentaspots make Pentaspots make it 13 to 8. And that was really smart by them. They threw one Molotov. Those guys threw a smoke to defuse the Molotov. And then they threw another Molotov right after it. So they were going to go through a Molotov regardless. So it was really well played by Pentaspots, keeping control of the B site. Great support play. Uh, great CT play in general. And they've got enough money that they're going to buy five Molotovs or five incendiaries. I like me some barbecue. I don't know about you. Mm -mm -mm. Some American barbecue. Ooh, so that double, that, that, that double nade was really nice. I, li I like that new uh, addition to the to the to the Go TV. That alt button. Grenade you follow the follow the nades. It's very cool. We can see we can follow the flash. See how that uh, goes over. It just flashes uh, over there. You can see how effective that is as a pop flash. Second flash comes up. Forces him to back away. From and an incendiary as well. This is really big because Swag is trying to move out into quad from Boiler, but if his teammates can't get up to support he needs him. To support, yep. it, it doesn't really. It's not as effective. And oh, great pick by Crystal. Shot by Crystal. They really got a site shut down. Penta Sports. They really, really do. Easy kick. No nades left for them now. Oh, he makes the frag on Kaina. He pops out. The trade is real. Robson will get one frag, but Swag returns. And these are the trades that work for the. Uh, Advantage of the terrorist side, Swag picks up the AWP and actually stays in that position and the bomb will be going towards the B site. Dennis gets reminded by his teammates, go back towards the B site. They might go towards the B site, we've not seen the bomb yet. And that's a very good call because now he'll be able to stop it from being planted. It's three on two with only 25 seconds left on the clock. They have to move and they have to move fast, they can't go towards the A site. So it has to be a B for Swag coming in to support, but will be shot by Spitty from behind. It's all up to Nitro on his own with the AK. So he's shot down by Dennis. So Penta Sports get nine rounds, making it 13 to nine. Only four rounds away from my buy power. If they keep up this momentum, they can definitely come back in this game. And it would be a huge upset for Penta Sports to kick I buy power out of this tournament. Yeah, I mean, I would want to see I would probably just going like hard for apartments or something right now. Just, just get this round over with. Just get a fast play with the CZs. Nothing to really support them. Just yep. the CZs are so going to stand alone on their own merit, which is quite strong in, in of itself. Exactly. Um, and uh, but yeah, I mean, they've got to start feeling the pressure. I mean, because they haven't done anything 
working, and that's a really big problem for I by Power. Their CT side was great, but they're going to make it happen here with these CZs. All right. These uh, executes onto the site. Oh, nice, nice job, Thompson. Good support by Dennis. And one, one thing to note: Swag, who was on 22 kills the first half, is only on 24 this half. He's only missed two frags in the last nine rounds, or the last seven rounds, let's say. So. Uh, the player who was really making quite a difference for Ibai Power on the CT side has not been able to get into the game in the second half. And uh, he's still top fragging with 24. The rest of his teammates are around the same amount of frags as well. He's got quite a lot more frags than even uh, the Penta Sports players. Three rounds difference. Penta are providing a very strong CT side. No op on Crystal this round, however. Instead, they'll all be playing with rifles. Standard setup, three A site, two B. I've not actually gone for aggressive nades. I love that with the knife, so yeah. you can move more quickly uh, for the peak. Very dangerous, but still. Gonna go well, the information. Yeah, he, 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 he'll get the information whether they're going for a fast push or two or not. Nice monotop. We're gonna go right through it, AZK. Good smoke as well. This is really nice CT play here. Using the smokes and, and, and incendiaries to their full and maximum potential. And that's what that's what makes Inferno such a CT-sided map, especially now, nowadays, is that teams have really learned how to use Molotovs in the smoke. He's in the smoke. Oh, he's he's done so a happy. Dangerous. He's done a happy. Oh, he's right behind them. Crystal. Oh, he's gonna go through. Crystal. Speedy's oh. gonna get two frags anyway. He'll only get one, actually. And Swag on the other side. Oh, Swag with three frags. This is huge from Swag. Finally, he's back in action. I was just saying he only had two francs this half, and all of a sudden he makes oh. it four. This could be an ace from Swag. It's one on one him against Dennis. Penta Spots can't throw away this round. It's so close. They could really come back in this game, but if Swag wins this, they, he throws everything down the window. Oh, fail smoke by Swag. Get the he's bomb. got 18 seconds left, and the bomb's down. Just hide. Just hide. Oh, he makes the frag, Dennis. Goodness me, Dennis. You're giving me a heart attack. What are you doing? Penta Sports will get that round 13 to 11, but Swag with a 4K all of a sudden from mid. Just out of nowhere. You know what, mate? I'm going to wipe you guys out. I don't care. It's I don't care what's happening. But still, uh, you, can't, you can't forget the result. 11 to 13 now. Penta Sports climbing and climbing and climbing. And, uh, even, and if it takes Swag to make a 4 kill for them to get close to even win a round, it's still looking just as bad. And we need to see... Uh, I mean, to see I by Power just better on these entries. You know this. what they're missing? What is that? They're missing an in-game leap, I think. I think that's what they're missing. I think they're missing direction. They've not been able to possible. really... They've it's not hard to replace Dazed or Steel as that role. They, they've just not been able to, to, to provide much in terms of uh, tactically. I mean, their, their tactics have just... They're a little bit staggered. They're a little bit uh, sloppy here and there. It does. It's quite obvious that Smoke. that that's the weakness for this Grenade. team so far. It's something they need to overcome right now. You can't lose 11. I mean, they they got 13 rounds. You can't lose nine rounds straight on the C side, especially when you have 13 on the CT side. It definitely means there's something wrong. But it is a very CT-sided map. Don't doubt about that. Crystal peeking once more towards mid. Catches Desi, lands a shot. And the thing with the Penta Sports players is they're such talented players. They've got such amazing aim. Every single one of them, every single one of them has incredible aim. And they can land some crazy shots. So it's really difficult pushing those angles. And they were using those smokes and incendiaries to their maximum potential and maximum effect. And it's made I by Power's job almost impossible. Smoke. To see a German team make it play, that is, that's a huge deal for the German smoke. It, it is, it is. It's been a long time You'd since you have seen a strong, a strong result from uh, Germany. So we're going to see if they're able to uh, make the entries here. It's not happening. The defense is too strong. Once again, these, just, these crossfires, these counter grenades, Penta on point, and they wow. are looking, wow. they're wow. on track to do better um, than I by Power did on their CT side, which is quite dominant. Unbelievable. Can you believe this? Ten rounds in a row? Not being able to close is, is incredibly frustrating for, for everybody who's uh, playing for Iowa Power, but also the fans of Iowa Power. They want to see them close this They're game running out. out of time. They're running out of time. They've been on 13 rounds forever. They have to do something different. They have to break through the CT defense. Penta Sports, not only have they won the rounds, but they've looked so solid in doing that at the same time. It's a fast day push here coming in from Iowa Power. 
And the smokes and Molotovs are actually a bit late. Robson has to go in for support. Crystal will make a frag before pulling back. Robson's there. He'll get shot down. Skadoodle takes down Robson. AZK will finish off Crystal. Now Archside is controlled by I by Power. A site is there for the taking. Felix is in pit. Smoke. He's the main guy between them and control of the A site. He lands a few shots. I think it's on uh, Swag. Maybe it was on Skadoodle. I think it was on Swag. Skadoodle's only got 5 HP. Playing it nice and slow here. I buy power. They know that there's a CT. Oh, he sees him. He sees him. Skadoodle sees him. Is he going to go back? Oh, my God. <laughs> don't, don't shoot your friend's head. He oh, needs so it. That was scary. He's still behind the truck. One CT coming in for support. Felix sees that smoke. Goes right through it. We'll be able to pick up a frag on Swag. AZK and Skadoodle left. They will get the bomb planted. However, AZK sees one of the CTs. Makes a frag at two on two. Felix takes down Skadoodle. It's all up to AZK here. It's a two on one. He has to wait for support, Felix. He knows that he's got support coming in from Spiddy. All they have to do is set up a crossfire, and they know that AZK is most likely in the site, especially after he made that frag. He's going to push through. It's going to be an easy frag for AZK now. It's a 1v1. AZK can win this round, but Felix will get the frag regardless. And Felix with a 3k equalizes the score, 13 to 13, and all of a sudden, this match is really, really close. 11 rounds in a row on the CT side by Penta. Oh my god, is it, is it really happening? This ca surely won't happen. Either part, <sighs> ABC, always be closing, always be closing. Need to, need to get on top of that. I mean, right now, Ivo Power, they, they, they did get the bomb down, so they do have this, uh, the possibility of, so we lost all the weapons there on the uh, overlay, uh, they do have the possibility to have more nades now than normal, but at the same time, they still don't have a, an answer. Wow. Oh, Crystal, he Crystal. always is getting these opening kills. Always he's finding them. Oh, they're still confident on the CT side. Penta spots are really showing to us how good they are. It's a big result on here the for, uh, the for this German side so far. But can they close? They are now in the position where that's a reality. They definitely can. If they've won 11 rounds in a row. They can definitely hold it. Wow. Like the smoke gets a shot on Nitro. Really nicely done. Nate comes in. Smoke. Molotov. Somewhere in the apartment for some reason. <laughs> Nobody's there, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> that They're going to push through. Should be easy pickings here. Crystal will get one frag. AZK. Oh, it's... It's a oh, knife! Oh, no! He knifed him! Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. That's 1.4k in the bank. And that's his uh, honor down the... Down the drain. God, that's just that's insult or injury right there. 14 to 13. They're two rounds away. Can you believe this, DDK? No. Can what? you believe no. that a spot just won 12 rounds in a row against <laughs> Ibai Power, who only needed three rounds to finish this game? Can you believe how CT sided Inferno is? I don't believe in anything anymore. Stop asking me that. Grenade. I don't know. <laughs> but this this is crazy. Every single round, almost every single round, all of them have bought Molotov. It's, yeah, they've been doing that for a while. And you can, you can, the thing is about the Molotov is that, in addition to the smoke, it, it creates so much delay. So much delay. And we're seeing how effectively they've been using that delay to stagger the pushes Perfect and to just completely just force these weird angles. And just, oh, get, what? <laughs> Where did that shot come from? I have no idea. No idea. The spots are on their way to actually going to the round of eight, the first German team. And I don't know how. This would be excellent. Felix with a first and a second. Robson there to support. Doesn't get the third. Swag's on his own. He's, He's in a really tough situation here. Third, number Gets one. The first. Will not get any more after that. They're on match point. To 13. It's match point for Penta Sports. They might go through to the round of eight. I buy power might be knocked out by Penta Sports. And nobody saw this coming. Especially since I buy power had 13 rounds coming out of the first half. We know it's a CT-sided map, but we didn't know Penta were going to play so well. Spitty and Crystal both. We know they're going to get 14 in a row. What? No. They deserve it. If they get this round, they deserve it. 14 in a row. Completely shut down our by power. Like no T-side. T-side is, uh, is a Galil, does not exist. A Galil two decoys. That says everything. A Galil and two decoys. That tells you about how bad the situation is right now. They're going to rely on... Somebody's got to step it up. Someone from I by Power has to step things up. It can't just be swag. I think it's the end of the road for I by Power. I really do. I really, really do. It doesn't seem like you. They've not been able to win any rounds on the T side. Any. And they won't be able to. Penta are just too good.
Are you going to call it right now? I mean, I've called it. I have called it. How much do you want to bet, DDK? It'll be 16 to 13 here. I know it's a sad thing to say, and I really wanted I by power to oh, go wow. through. It's getting burned from the, the ceiling there. Yeah, it's, it's probably like, oh, my, why is my head sweating? It feels a bit hot here. Do you have Penta? They're ready for this. Uh, they've got the heat and potty set up at the back of the key bomb site. And uh, it is a strong setup. ADK will get the fragment crystal. This is a good start here for I by power. Might be hope. It will be a B execute. 40 seconds left from the clock. Skadoodle flashes himself now. Injured towards the site. The two CTs are hiding in the corner. Cross by setup. Skadoodle will get the entry frag on Dennis. Spitty's in the corner here. Can probably delay them ever so slightly. He'll get the frag on Den Desi. He'll drop the bomb. He'll get the second, almost the third. Nitro finally takes him down. Now it's a two and one. Eyebound Power are in a good position to win this round. And he'll get the frag. Now it's a one on one. Bomb hasn't been planted yet. The bomb's actually down. Felix against Swag. This could be the end for Eyebound Power. Swag with only 11 HP. Felix coming up. 62 HP on Felix. Bomb will be planted by Swag. He didn't have a lot of time left. And he'll get the frag. It's the end. Penta Spots will win this match. And it's unbelievable. I don't Amazing. think anybody thought that Penta Spots, Penta Spots will win that. Eyebound Power, after getting 13 rounds on the CT side, will lose to the underdog. What a CT side I by Penta Spots. I don't know, man. That's crazy. You don't expect 14 rounds just to come out just, just in a row. That's <laughs> I would probably got some well. serious... They, they have to like go back and seriously like look at what they've some, done. Something was definitely wrong. They've, they've got to, side they've got to sort something out here yeah. because that can't happen. That cannot happen in no. a major tournament. No. That, if that can, and that can't happen against Penta Sports. Maybe if it was Dignitas. Maybe if it was Fnatic, sure. But that, that's not the case. So I've got to step things up. Amazing play from Penta. Yeah. They played in a, really, a phenomenal really nice CT play. half. Phenomenal. phenomenal. But was it, it, I mean, you've got to give loads of credit to them, but Iowa Power's T, T side, it didn't come together. I mean, it wasn't exactly a horrible T side. We have to see that. You have to make the difference between a horrible T side and a really, they really good T side. They lost 14 in a row. It's pretty Spot. horrible. <laughs> no, but Penta Sports, their nades, I mean, I've never seen incendiary grenades used so much. That's true. Their have grenades you, have you noticed really that? Good. There were so many incendiary grenades. And I don't think they expected that by by Power. You don't expect going into a game that you'll get one incendiary grenade after another on arch side, like three grenades on arch side. At the same time, we didn't see a lot of rehearsed setups coming no. in, executes from the T side. We didn't. They didn't know for the example, smokes for, for they didn't they didn't know the smokes for A site from from Arch side. They didn't know them. They didn't throw them well. And ex as well as the all the smokes on to B and the, and the molotovs on to B that you can do from banana that that shut down all the positions. Like we saw at the last one of the last rounds, like they had the positions at the back of the site. So easy to molotov, so easy, and it's very small investment for what can be a very big result. Yep. So yep. a lot of work to be done by our power Penta. Germany, they're going to get a team into the top eight. Beautiful stuff. That's a great result. Good storyline, I think. And uh, we have more action here on the secondary stream for DreamHack Winter oh, yeah. 2014. We're going to be doing Group a D after the break. So have a little bit of, of a longer break coming up. But uh, stay with us, guys. Check us out on Twitter. Tweet us your thoughts. What you and think of the stream. And follow the channel as and follow well. follow the channel. We want to try and hit 200,000 followers. So... Uh, just follow if you've not followed. I think most of you have followed. But if you haven't, do that. We'd really appreciate it. We'll see you guys after the break.